In this video, we're going to be doing a budget shoe shooter. Yes, we're going to be comparing the Kiprum KS900 against the Reebok Energy Flow Ride number five. What is up, everybody, and welcome to Fully Runs. And one of my favourite videos that we do, which is when we're looking for affordable, good running shoes. And I think I've got two very good shoes here, actually. I've got the Kiprum KS900 and we've got the Reebok Energy Float Ride number five. Both of these shoes are under £100 if you're buying them off the uh, official websites, let's call it. Uh, but you could probably pick them up cheaper on some other retailers. But I thought this would be a very good shoe out because they're two very good shoes at very good prices. Okay, so uh, stats and features, kind of. I can't really remember too much about them. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do a very good job here, am I? But we've got energy foam, carbon rubber out. So I think from memory, we've got either an eight or nine mil drop on the Reebok. Uh, we've got a eight mil drop on the Kiprun KS900. We've got M foam cushioning. I said we've got energy foam. Uh, both are reasonably wide. This has got a torsion system that's been introduced to help some of that movement it's also got some lateral uh, work in it as well just again to add for some of that stability uh, both have got reasonable uppers on it this is a little bit thicker in terms of uh, the rubber uh, in terms of the upper the rubber on this is like a machine and this thing apparently is meant to last for a thousand kilometers Reebok don't claim to do that in any shape or form uh, both fit true to size uh, weights they're almost identical in terms of the weights 280 270 or grams around that mark which I think is fine Prices, I can't remember what I've said and what I haven't said, but that's 85 quid and that's 89.99 here in the UK. Okay, so look, let's cut to the chase straight off. Um, I think you buy this over this, uh, you're going to get, I don't know, there's just the, the more running feeling shoe from the Reebok. But here's the thing, this is a good uh, everyday shoe. Now, what do you mean by that, Fordy? Uh, a, a shoe that you can go to the gym, pick the kids up from dancing, you know, go to school, drop the kids off, run home, that sort of thing. This does that. Now, you can do that in that in the Reebok very much, uh, but this this gives you the option to do more stuff in it. You can do a little bit of speedier work in it. You can do a little bit of a longer run in this shoe. It will very much be able to soak some of that up, and that's why I think for me, this is the pick out of these two. But there's nothing wrong with this shoe. In fact, it's very good, I think, for, for the price point. And you know what? They've done a great job of getting you know, this amount of like, tread on a shoe uh, under 10 ounces, but also creating a shoe that they reckon, whether it does or it doesn't, it lasts 1,000 kilometers. If you're going to have a shoe that's going to last you 1,000 kilometers, that's going to cost you 90 or quid, then they're doing a good job. But both of these shoes are very good budget shoes, actually. As I said, I would go and I would steer you towards the Reebok. Yes, you can pick up last year's or the years before models for the same sort of price, and that's great. But I'm trying to look objectively of what's out at the moment. If you're looking to get into running, or you know, you just simply can't afford the £150 or you know, whatever they are charging now for, for good daily trainers, then these are two very good shoes that offer you something a little bit different, but at a good price point. So, yeah, there we go, people. Um, for me, the Energy Float Ride 5 is one of the best daily trainers out there bar you know some of the you know more expensive models this is, is phenomenal at the price point is phenomenal but don't discount this if you are on a budget and you, you're happy to have something that's you know a little bit limited in versatility but can do some of those you know like i said you park run or gym work treadmill and then you know drop the kids off at, at school that sort of stuff this is not a shoe to be overlooked it is firm okay it is firm but it will break in all right this is a little bit softer and it's a little bit more sort of energy return feeling but this is not too bad people it's not too bad at all 